with Ma from from the Joe Buttons podcast, and you know he let me know that it was no disrespect intended. You know what I'm saying? And we talked it out like two black men. So shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? He let me know that you know they you know they ain't really he understood my views on how I seen shit, and you know he he understood that. Damn, you right. I could, I could see how you look at it from that standpoint. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just a person that believe that you ain't supposed to talk about nobody's personal situation or nobody's money situation if you don't really know no facts. And everything that niggas was saying was ain't have not one fact in it. So, you know, I kind of felt some type of way as well as Wallow. But I respect him because he called us up because he know us. And like I said, we fuck with Mo. He gave us a lot of game. He gave us a lot of advice. He shared a lot of connects with us. So, you know, we fuck with Maul, but at the end of the day, we felt disrespected. And if I ever feel disrespected about some shit that I built from the ground up with absolutely no motherfucking help, then I'm always going, I'm always going to go to war about my shit. And I felt as though a niggas got a huge platform and they went on a platform and tried to make it seem like that, oh, we signed a deal. We got some money. And now, you know, niggas change. No, we've been getting money, man. We've been getting money out this bitch. So for me, it was like, you know, I felt like niggas was shitting on us. But shout out to Maul. You know, not no shout out to Rory, because Rory, you on some fucking bullshit. You hear me? You on some, you on some real bullshit, bro. But shout out to Maul. Shout out to the whole Joe Buttons podcast. Y'all keep doing y'all. We gonna keep doing us, man. That's what it's about, man. Getting money, man. And putting out great content. And not speaking on niggas. Business, personal business that you don't know about. Right.